Well, a nonprofit group is asking the Macon Bibb County Commission not to lower its funding. With a projected $10 million shortfall, the county has to make big cuts, and commissioners are looking at doing that to outside agencies. Citizen advocacy is one of those. 41 NBC's Edna Ruiz joins us with more on what the group does and why it depends on the county's funding. Edna. For 40 years, citizen advocacy has given people with disabilities a voice and friendships that last a lifetime. That's what Connolly Poole did for one man who didn't know what life was until they crossed paths. He pretty much became a part of the community. Everybody knows Mr. Fraser. After 70 years of isolation in a mental hospital and nursing home, Frazier Smith got to know more than just four walls. I was able to take him to the grocery store. He, he didn't know what a grocery store was. And I was able to take him to the mall, and he was so fascinated. About five years ago, Connolly Poole stepped into Mr. Frazier's life because of citizen advocacy. He didn't have a friend. Uh, his family long ways out of town. And so we were able to uh, communicate with him. And the amazing thing, the first time we met him, he was afraid to leave the institution. But it wasn't long before Mr. Frazier became like family to Poole. He ate meals with us. He went to church with us. And I would pick him up every Sunday. Those bonds are what Amanda Smith strives to create in the community. My goal is to locate people who are vulnerable. That is, people who don't have anyone in their life. No family, um, only paid staff and um, learn their story. And once I learn their story, I go out in the community and I look for that special person and ask them to uh, open their hearts to this person. With the $4,500 the county gives the group, Smith is able to get word out about what they do with flyers and programs. It is Bibb County dollars going into Bibb County. And what it does is it essentially helps members of our community that you never see come out into the community. With cuts, it would be harder to build more relationships like Frazier's and Poole's. A lot of Mr. Frazier's out there, who they just need somebody to come out and say, hey, how you doing? Poole says Mr. Frazier is back in a nursing home and isn't allowed to leave because of issues with his family. But that doesn't stop Poole from visiting him at least once a week with Mr. Frazier's favorite meal from KFC. Michael? Well, if you would like to sign up and be an advocate, head over to our website, 41NBC.com, where we have much more information for you.